Now, let me um, take this problem one step further and say, all right, now that we know um, how much of the, of the strontium carbonate uh, would be produced, and that's from the limiting reagent, which is actually our strontium nitrate, you know, when this strontium nitrate is, is, is used up, since it's a limiting reagent, it's going to be all used up. And we're going to have some of this sodium carbonate left over. Okay, so we can actually go back and calculate, well, how much of this are we going to have left over? You know, how much do we have in excess? Okay, so the way we would calculate that, we can go back to these calculations that we did before um, and, and say, okay, I know I, uh, I can't produce more than 0 0.0333 uh, moles of the strontium carbonate. Okay, so based on, on this one, it's saying I can produce this much, but since this is my limiting reagent, it limits me to this much, and uh, in effect, I can just subtract those two, and that will tell me, um, you know, how many, uh, it, it'll be moles of strontium carbonate, okay, but that's, uh, you know, the difference, um, how much extra I would have been able to produce if I could use all of this amount up, okay? So if I subtract those and then we can convert back to the uh, original mass, um, we can find out how much of this I'm going to have extra. So let's uh, look at that. I have uh, my, my limiting rea reagent subtracted from uh, my reagent in excess, the moles uh, of those. So, and this is again why I include more significant figures so that um, I can uh, make sure I don't uh, have rounding errors. Okay, so here we get this amount in excess. Okay moles of strontium carbonate. Um, so this is the, the amount extra that I would have been able to produce of, uh, of the strontium carbonate from my sodium carbonate. If I were able to use all of that up, um, this is the, the difference extra that I would have been able to produce. Okay, And so what I can do is take this amount and uh, convert that back into grams. Okay, and let me start over here so that I have enough room. 0 0.016128 uh, moles of strontium carbonate. Okay, and we have our same mole ratio because I'm going this time back to the, uh, sorry, back to the reagent in excess. This is my limiting reagent and this is my reagent in excess, sometimes abbreviated XS. <laughs> All right, um, my mole ratio, one mole to one mole, um, same mole ratio there that I used before. This time, however, I want my moles of strontium carbonate to cancel, and I put my moles of sodium carbonate on the top. Okay, so those will cancel. And so I'm just kind of reversing what I did here. I'm going to use that same molar mass, uh, but this time I need my uh, moles of sodium carbonate to cancel with my um, 105.99 grams, okay? So I put it this way, grams per mole, so that those moles will cancel, okay? So you see it's just a kind of inverting this when we're going this when we're going backwards we flip them over um, to get into grams okay so what remember what we're calculating here is the the difference how much extra will I have this is how much extra I would have been able to produce so if I start with that I'll find out what mass um, I will have left over that would be unreacted okay so let's uh, just start with this, 0 0.016128. Uh, 
um, and my mole ratio is one to one, so I don't have to put that in there. But I'm going to multiply that by uh, 105.99, and what this is saying is I have 1.71 grams of sodium carbonate in excess. Okay. Um, in other words, this is how much is going to be unreacted after all of my 7.05 grams of the strontium nitrate is completely reacted. Okay, So this is another uh, type of problem where you might have to find the amount in excess. You can do that just by uh, working backwards from that difference in moles between the limiting reagent and the reagent in excess. Start with that convert back to grams, and that tells you how much is in excess.